All right, I'm gonna get the second one from above. Look at him, look at him. Oh, 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 oh. Look at him, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it, look at him. He's swimming around though. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him, he still doesn't see him. He's right there. Chongus, what are you doing? He's literally right there by him. He still doesn't see him. Holy cow, are you blind? Got him. Jesus Christ, that took long enough. Tell me Chungus doesn't look good. Look at that guy, just showing off all his colors. Look at him, flaring up and everything. He's showing off right now. This is like the only way that I can get good shots of Chungus because if I'm just like right up by the tank, like trying to film him up close, he's just sitting right up in the corner trying to get me to feed him. But if I'm just chilling in bed at night, he's literally just swimming back and forth, back and forth, you know, just showing off. Watch this, you see how he's in the pot right now? If I just like wave my foot in there, look at him. He thinks I'm throwing my arm up there like trying to feed him. Look at that. I also got some pretty nice shots of Chungus last night as well. I don't know why, but he seems to be a whole lot more flared up at night for some reason. But what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be doing another flower worm feeding video. I like to do them. You guys seem to like them as well. So why not do another one? If you're new here, I have about 12 tanks, all but one are fresh water. And actually, here's the one saltwater tank right here. Looking good, looking good. Did a water change on it yesterday. And you guys know that I've been kind of struggling with the green hair algae problem in here. And I'm starting to kind of get it under control now kind of started in the rocks then I kind of got it off the rocks then it went to the sand and now I got it pretty much out of the sand now so I'm starting to really get rid of it now which is really really good hammer coral looking good so are the candy canes are still kind of opening up this morning clownfish are doing great and so is the hawk fish right there I keep mostly cichlids with a few tetras and catfish mixed in and also we have a guppy tank this is it right here They're looking great all the babies in here are doing really really good and so are the little panda quarries that we got in the last video where are they at oh just chilling right back here in the back corner right now with a few guppies but all of these guys are looking and doing really really good as I mentioned though I'm gonna be doing another flower horn feeding video today now I'm actually gonna be feeding Chunga something that I've never actually fed him and that is crickets crickets are a really really good food to feed any kind of predatory fish or really any fish that can actually eat them but crickets are something that I've actually never fed Chungas before so it's gonna be pretty fun feeding him that and I'm also gonna feed a few to the pike cichlid he will certainly enjoy them and a few to the Jack Dempsey and the albino Oscar and I might just throw one in this tank just to see what happens and all the tetras will start going crazy, but the bigger Electra Blue Jack Dempsey, that guy right there, he might just be able to eat a whole one. We'll just have to see. And that's pretty much all the fish that I have that can actually eat a cricket. So uh, yeah, it'll be really fun feeding all those fish today. But the main fish we're feeding today is Chungus. Now check this out. I actually just did a water change on his tank yesterday. And honestly, his tank is looking better than it ever has even when I first set up the tank. I've struggled with two issues in that tank. One being the little bitty white worms that used to be in the tank. And those were actually in the tank in the last feeding video that I did when I actually fed him the little bitty rosy red minnows. Got rid of them. And then I had a green water problem and that actually just cleared up within the last few days finally got rid of that and uh, now his tank is looking pretty dang good now as I mentioned I just did a water change on his tank yesterday and I'm not trying to scare anyone from buying a flower horn but you see all that poop right there that is just from yesterday all that right there so if you're thinking about getting a flower horn just know it is a lot of work one you got to feed them really good you got to keep the water really clean got to do a lot of water changes and you have to make sure you have a big enough tank for them and those are only just a few things that's like some of the main things but if you check all those boxes and you're willing to put in the work to keep in a flower horn, then go right ahead. They're really fun fish and honestly one of the most beautiful fish that I even know. And right now Chungus doesn't have the biggest hump on his head. He'll go for a few days where it'll be pretty good size and then it'll kind of shrink back down. And you know flower horns just like any other fish, they go through mood changes and that all depicts their color and how they act. But right now he's looking pretty dang good and I haven't fed him this morning so he's pretty hungry. He's ready to eat. And I usually don't like going to big chain stores like Petco and PetSmart but uh, PetSmart is actually the closest store to me that actually sells crickets. But I do not recommend buying fish from Petco, PetSmart, Pet Supermarket, any kind of big chain stores. Try to go to locally owned, you know, private fish stores. Those are usually a lot better, have a lot better selection, a lot more knowledge, and uh, just have better fish. But with that being said, Let's go to PetSmart. Now, I'm sure that most of you are pretty aware of the new glow betas that just came out. It's actually the newest glow fish that they just came out with. Uh, I think they're pretty cool, so if you guys think that I should get one, let me know. All right, made it to PetSmart, uh, but I just realized something. They are not going to let me film in here, so I'm going to run in there, get the crickets, come out, and uh, we're going to get home, feed them to a few fish. All right, got the crickets, got a dozen of them. Let's head home. Back now with the crickets, and uh, let's see what he does first. 
Let's see what he does when he finally notices them in the bag. Now, honestly, he could eat all 12 of these if I let him, but I'm probably only going to feed him about half of them, if that. And then go feed the rest of the Pike and the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey. So, let's get started. All right, here we go. Going to drop it in there. Look at him. He's ready. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Got him. I thought he popped out and got on top of the light, but uh, he definitely got him. All right, I'm going to get the second one from above. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. Look at him. He's swimming around though. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. He still doesn't see him. He's right there. Chungus, what are you doing? He's literally right there by him. He still doesn't see him. Holy cow, are you blind? Got him. Jesus Christ, that took long enough. I have no clue what he was doing, but somehow he just did not see him. All right, here's the third one. Look at him. He's, he's ready now. He is ready now. Oh my gosh, he's gonna do it again. Nope, nope. Got him that time. Alright, this is a pretty fat one right here. Here we go. Oh, oh, got him. Look at that. He seems to really, really enjoy him. That's really good. Like I said, this is something that I've actually never fed him. Alright, last one for right now. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Look at that. So that was a half a dozen crickets in about two minutes right there. So that's all I'm going to feed him for right now. We're going to go feed a few to the Pike and the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey. And then we'll come back and if we have any left over, we'll feed the rest to him. Look at him, look at him. Oh, oh. Got him, look at that. Look at that guy. Alright, let's see if he wants one more. Oh, oh, he got him. He got him. Yep, he's got him, look at him. He's still trying to get him fully down, but look at that. He absolutely crushed him. Doug Dempsey and the Oscar, they're definitely not going to do any playing around. Look at this. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Why is the Oscar so hesitant to get stuff that's not a pellet? I don't understand it. I do. Oh my gosh, look at that. Jack Dempsey got him. He got him. Wait, no, he did it. No, he didn't. There he is right there. Look at him. Oh, oh. Oscar got him. He got him. He didn't know if he wanted to get him at first, but he, he got him. The Jack Dempsey went up there and kind of popped him, and uh, that's when the Oscar went after him and got him. They're a lot more hesitant than I thought they would be. I mean, this is something that I've never fed them, so I can understand that. But still, you would expect them to go, like, right after it. All right, here's the second one. Let's see what they do now. Oh. Got him. He got him. Nope. I don't know what it is with this Oscar, but he is so hesitant to get stuff that's, like, not a pellet or a minnow. Everything else that I put in here, like the ghost shrimp last week when I did the ghost shrimp feeding video, he was really, really hesitant about eating the ghost shrimp and never did. And he ate the first cricket, but he acts like he didn't want to get the second one wherever he is now. There he is right back there. But yeah, I don't know why he's being like that. I really do not. Now this is going to be really, really interesting to see what happens. I'm almost positive that the bigger Jack Dempsey is going to go right after and actually get him. But let's just see what happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Tetris going after it. Jack Dempsey doesn't see him yet. Oh, oh, he got him. He got him. Look at that. He has got him. The whole entire thing, just like that. Gone. Oh my gosh, look at this. The Colombian Tetris got one of the legs in his mouth. Holy cow, look at that. The red eye Tetris are chasing him. Look at that. He, so he's got a leg in his mouth, and the Jack Dempsey got the rest of him. Look at that. And then there's the little one looking around for stuff. And now you can see it has turned into an all out frenzy and everybody's just going crazy now look at that all right i'm gonna put one more in and let's see what happens let's see if the jack dempsey gets this one or not the tetris they're going right after it just like they did with the first one look at that just like little bitty piranhas imagine one of the little emperor tetris coming up there and just like taking the whole entire thing oh boy oh boy look at this look at this he got him he has got the second one look at that that jack dempsey has now eaten two whole crickets that is crazy. Well, I said if I had any left over, I'd feed the rest of Chungus. So I've got about three or four left, so I'm going to feed the rest of him. All right, here we go. Look at him, look at him. He's ready. He knows I'm about to drop one in there. Look at that. Oh, oh. Got him. Look at that. Going for number eight. Got it. Just like it's nothing. Here's another pretty fat one right there. Look at that one. Got it. He is just stuffing himself now. I'm going to feed him one more, and uh, that's going to be about all he needs. Now, honestly, he could eat all 12 of these if I let him, but I'm probably only going to feed him about half of them, if that. All right, last one. Got it. He would eat the rest of them, because there's actually a lot more than I thought there was. Uh, I definitely got way more than a dozen, but 10 is definitely enough for that guy. Look at the arrow crab on the hammer coral. Look at him. 
What are you doing, buddy? Thank you guys for watching today's video, and uh, you obviously enjoyed the video because you made it to the end, so drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and also, let me know if there's anything else that you want me to try to feed to some of my fish. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.